Hi, it's Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca. And in this video, I want to talk about what Microsoft is currently offering in terms of Azure certifications. You might have heard Microsoft has been changing their certification program. And so this is the latest as of March 2019 in terms of what they're offering. Now you will notice that they do introduce new exams every few months and they actually retire exams every few months. And so if you're watching this video too far into the future, then some of this stuff might have changed. But as of the day of recording, which is March 21st, 2019, this is what we know about what Microsoft is offering in terms of certifications. First off, I'll get out of the way what are called the transition exams. There are currently three exams that you can take if you already have some Microsoft Azure certifications. If you have the 70-532, 533, or 535, there are options for you to get onto the new track with one single test. It's a, it's a transition exam. So the 102, 202, and 302 are still being offered. You can see that they have expiry dates that are relatively short. So if you want to get into this, you better get into it quickly. After June 30th, of course, these transition exams go away, and then you are forced to go during the normal track. So let's start with the beginning. The AZ-900 is a brand new exam introduced on December 31st of last year, and it is what's called the Fundamentals Exam. Now, it's a optional exam. It is not a prerequisite for anything. You do not need to take the AZ-900 in order to go on to any other test. And I have heard from people who've taken it who've said that it's a tougher exam because it does cover an awful lot, not at a deep level, but at a broad level. So if you are really interested in learning about the cloud and you don't mind uh, really getting into some, some hard work to studying for this and taking a tough test, the AZ-900 is available to you. It's not going to ask you any coding questions. It's not going to ask you to solve IP addresses based on you know, IP masks, etc. But it is going to be based on the fundamentals of working uh, in the new cloud paradigm. Next up, we have the AZ100 series exams. We've already talked about the 102 transition, but Microsoft has uh, offered the 100 and 101 tests. And they just recently announced that they're retiring these tests as of May 1st and introducing a new test on May 1st, the AZ-103. So after May 1st, the only offering under this category is the AZ-103. If you take the 100 uh, you, or the 103, you'll get a certificate called the uh, Azure Administrator Associate uh, Certificate. And that will basically be something you can put on your resume and will perhaps lead you into uh, more expert certifications. So as we said, 100 and 101 are being expired. And so 103 will be the only one that remains after that. Now they did something similar in developer space and it's already happened. So the 200 and 201 exams did not come out of beta and instead Microsoft came out with this 203 exam. So there is a single exam, AZ203 for developers that will get you a developer associate certification. And that's again, another badge you can put onto your uh, resume or wherever you wanna put that. Now in the more expert category, you have the architect exams and currently those are AZ300 and AZ301. We talked about 302 previously, but if you haven't taken the 535, perhaps you've taken 534 or you haven't taken anything at all, you have to take two exams, the AZ300 plus the AZ301 in order to get an Azure Architect expert certification. Recently, Microsoft introduced a DevOps track. Now the DevOps track is an expert level certification and you do need to take and pass the AZ400 exam for DevOps. Additionally, you'll need to either have a developer associate certification, which is the 203 exam, or the administrator associate, which is now the 103 exam. So you're going to have to have 400 plus one of those other two in order to get expert certified into DevOps. Microsoft is in a beta period with this AZ500 exam on Azure Security Technologies. And if you take this 500 exam and pass, when it does come out of beta and goes live, you can get an associate certificate in security engineer uh, as well. So there's another, another certification if you're interested in security technologies. Now we go back to some of the historical exams, the 7473 and the 7475, they are being retired. So as of the end of June, you will not be able to take these cloud data and big data tests 
Apparently, they are bringing out a big data certification or a data-related certification, but no official announcements on that yet. So we should expect in the next month or two to see some beta exams around some new data certifications. Now, beyond the big data, there's also data science, which is like machine learning and HD insights and all the Hadoop stuff. And so there are three exams that are all being retired, 774, 775, 776. So again, we'll see what Microsoft comes out with in terms of their certifications. I'm sure there's going to be an AI and machine learning certification. Now, one exam that hasn't been retired and is still out there is the Azure Stack. Azure Stack, as you know, is a technology where you can install the Azure platform in your own data center. So you control the hardware, but it looks and acts and operates similar to, but not exactly the same as Microsoft Azure. The 7537 exam is still out there. And again, there's no announcements in terms of retirement. What you would expect then is at the, uh, you know, in the end of this year, perhaps even into beginning next year, they're going to start thinking about how they're going to get the Azure stack into the new AZ series exams. So those are the overview of the exams that are available. I do have some courses on some of these, not all of them. You'll see the numbers on screen from uh, the 103 exam, 203 exam, the 300 series exams. The link is on screen. It's a udemy.com. Look for me. And there's a coupon code that you can use in order to get big savings on these tests. So use the coupon code and you can basically get these exams, even practice tests at a great discount.